All right, y'all, welcome back to Combat Arms Channel. Okay, so today we are checking out the Indian Marcos, which I think stands for Marine Commandos. Now, just judging by their name, they sound like they're going to have a very similar setup or formation as the Royal Marine Commandos, as far as just having and training on those commando tactics and also having that maritime capability. So I'm not really too sure. I know you guys have recommended this unit a lot, so I'm excited to check it out. You guys always send me some really solid recommendations, so I do appreciate that. But this is 12 surprising facts about the Marcos. So yeah, we'll just jump right into it and check it out. The Indian military is one of the best in the world, ranked at number four on the scale of total military power. Within the Indian military, the Marine that. Commandos are very elite and are among the best of the best in the entire world. Marine Commando stands for Marcos, and it's the Special yeah. Forces Unit of the Indian Navy created for conducting special operations in maritime environments. They are called the Few, the Fearless, as they are one of the most feared Indian forces. How's it going, yeah. everybody? My name is Leroy Kenton, and welcome to another episode of FTD Facts. Now, I know quite a bit of you guys have been requesting for us to do a video about Marcos for quite a while. I'm super excited <laughs> to do Same. this video because, like, these guys are just so intense. But before you continue watching, don't forget to just, you know, give this video a thumbs up if you're liking these episodes. And if you guys can do that with my FTD video Facts, too, you gotta hit that subscribe button as well as that bell notification. I just piggyback off of him. You, like, you don't want to miss any videos. Okay, so let the fun begin. So the Marine Commando Force, or the MCF, was created as a special forces that unit camouflage. by the Indian Navy in 1987. For many years, the Indian Navy wanted to establish an elite force for special maritime operations. A year mm. earlier, in April of 1986, the Indian Naval Staff created a plan for a special force which would be able to conduct recon raids and even counter terrorist operations. I've not seen that camouflage before, but it seems really, really cool. And they got the helmets with the netting and stuff. Okay. I mean, it makes sense for a Navy to want to have their own force to, to deal with this kind of stuff. I mean, if you don't have a, a maritime capable special operations unit, then whenever you have to go and deal with pirates or, I mean, maybe even smugglers or something like that, it's going to be pretty difficult because you need that those specific tactics. You need that specific equipment so you can actually go and operate in those environments successfully in a maritime environment. Three naval officers were sent for training with the U.S. Navy SEALs and further training was conducted oh, nice. with the British Special Forces. These three naval officers formed the first nucleus of the Indian Maritime Special Forces, which was then formally Bad raised asses. in February of 1987. Then shortly after, in 1991, they had its name changed to the Marine Commandos Force, the MCF, and are now familiarly known as Marcos, simply the Marine Commandos. Now, That's the men cool selected name. to be Marine Commandos are amongst the fittest officers as well as sailors of the Indian Navy. They're selected when they are young <laughs> in their early 20s and have to go through a very intense selection process as well as training process. Just getting the kicked. Marine Commandos are trained for operations on air, land, and sea. So you can see like the prefix Marine is like mainly just for formality since they are from mm -hmm. The Navy, but in general, you okay. can call them like. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. I, the Navy SEALs are also sea, air, and land, and they're from the Navy. But yeah, having the term Marine might make it a little bit hard. But honestly, for a lot of Marine forces, even like in the U.S. Marine Corps with like our Raiders and whatnot, you have. I mean, even normal infantrymen have that capability to be sea, air, and land. So I mean, it's not that misleading, but I understand what he means. But so I think the name fits well enough. But again, having a unit that can do all that sort of stuff really makes it versatile to the to the Indian military in general. The all-in-one commandos because they specialize in things like para jumping all the way to deep sea diving. Now, the people training to be a part cool. of Marcos have to complete a two-year course, the first phase of which lasts just one month in which they undergo many rigorous physical tests of which <laughs> only 50% of them pass. A 20 That's kilometer that run starts the beginning of every day in Marco's <laughs> training. Now the next day, it's a 20 kilometer night trek with 60 kilogram loads. 
This routine okay. is on alternate days. That's a lot of ways. There's no like digital simulations or dummies or anything like that used in Marco's training. The training is conducted with live ammunition and guns are always loaded. It leaves no chance of any sort of friendly fire. So you can't be playing around during training. No, well, someone could actually die. Then for the next nine months, they're taught how to use different types of weapons as well as conduct special warfare techniques and how to gather intelligence from their enemy. Now this part hmm. of the training is conducted in conjunction with other Indian special forces at the Combined Commando School at Surasawa. They also have to oh, go that's through really, really a cool. So again, just hearing by like, it's a two year course or a two year pipeline. So there's a lot you can learn in that. But again, that's just the basics of getting onto this unit in general. You can imagine they have a lot of specialized follow on training. But yeah, they're getting a lot of stuff that normal people wouldn't get as far as like learning how to collect better reconnaissance or doing like intelligence sort of stuff. A lot of people like at least generic infantrymen wouldn't really think about it that that in depth as far as how to be really proficient with that recon or that intelligence gathering. So it's pretty cool. They seem like they get some pretty solid stuff shoot training course and a diving course. Now the Indian Marine Special Force first went into action a few months after its rising in Sri Lanka to fight against mm. the liberation of Tamil Tigers Elam, the LTTE. In November of 1988, okay. mercenaries of the People's Liberation Organization of Tamil Elam, which was a party used to oppose the LTTE, well, they attempted a coup in the Maldives, and the Indian Armed Forces mm. quickly began an operation to re-establish the former government. Under the code name Operation Cactus, Indian paratroopers Old on school. November 4th, 1988, swarmed the capital. However, 46 mercenaries with 27 hostages, including the Maldivian Minister of Education, they all managed to escape on board a mer- I gotta say, these pictures are like, <laughs> I don't know, 10 pixels by 10 pixels. I can't- it seems like it's a picture that was, you know, taken in like the 1940s or something. But I mean, he's saying that this is from like the late 80s. So it's kind of throwing the, throwing it off a little bit. Merchant ship until two Indian Navy vessels were able to capture it. So let's fast forward from that fact to Marcos today. Now, the strength of the unit is a very closely guarded secret. However, okay. sources say that the number could be close to 2,000 operatives and 10 groups of 200 personnel each. However, okay. sources That's not a lot. say that the number could be close to 2,000 personnel in 10 groups of 200 personnel each. Hmm. Although Marco's members are qualified to use a parachute and even undergo a combat divers course, which is not really a common practice in other commando forces, only a few manage to complete the free for all parachute training. And it's hmm. these few that are selected for operations oh, with the Cosmos CE2FX100 two man submarines. Now, wow, the unit's quick rise has changed the unit's role. It was intended to be dedicated to special maritime operations, but a considerable part of Marcos is doubling as a Marine infantry assigned to the 340th mm. Brigade with the usual flexibility of commando forces. Mar so we've also seen this with the Royal Marine Commandos where they have that commando background and that commando sort of training, but generally speaking, they might get called up to be almost like a, a, an infantryman, which kind of sucks because that's not what they're supposed to be used for. And that's not the sort of mindset that they need to be adopting. But I mean, I know the Royal Marine Commandos are doing a better job of training that commando mindset. But again, it's kind of hard to avoid and, and predict what sort of conflicts are going to determine how you're going to be operating and using certain units. So, I mean, it's nice. Again, they are versatile. If they can do special operation stuff, they can definitely do infantry stuff. It's going to be pretty easy for them. Marcos has also been very active in Kashmir as part of the counter-terrorist efforts. Their main task is to control the infiltration of enemies from Pakistan to Kashmir through the Jhelum River and Wular, a 65 square kilometer fresh lake. Now, did you know that Marcos are widely feared among terrorists who call them Didawala Faj, meaning the bearded army, because of their bearded disguises <laughs> that they wear in civilian areas. And these marine commandos can That's be launched awesome. into operations from ships, aircrafts, and submarines, as I mentioned earlier, in full combat gear. Their transport vehicles consists of HAL Drub, Westland Sea King, the HAL Chittak helicopter, 
all-terrain okay. vehicles, ATVs for short, and nice. the Indian Navy swimmer delivery vehicle. And finally, just recently on October Fancy. 6th of 2017, Marcos on board an INS Trishul carried out an anti-piracy operation in the Gulf oh, yeah. of Aden. They stopped the piracy attempt on the Indian ship, the MV Jag Amar. One hmm. AK-47 and one magazine with 27 rounds were recovered. 12 suspected pirates were also captured. <laughs> so yeah, you see... Okay, I think it's kind of funny. I mean, I'm sure they did a really great job and they were taking it very seriously. But it's just kind of funny thinking that there was 12 pirates sharing this one AK-47 between them. I mean, if you have one AK-47, it's going to be pretty scary for a crew that doesn't have any sort of weapons. But yeah, you can imagine they were absolutely no match for the Marcos. <laughs> it's like one guy's going down, getting flexi cuffed while he's throwing the AK to someone else. That's just how I'm picturing it. It's just it's kind of funny. These guys are no joke. In a world where danger lurks around every corner, the Marine Commandos definitely help make things a little safer for the people of India as well as other parts of the world. This episode of FTD Facts is brought to you by Grammarly.com. Hey, guess that's it. Grammarly is the world leading software in improving your written English. And leave your suggestions and comments about okay. what. Okay. All right, that was a cool one. So again, I know this was a really big recommendation. I'm glad I was finally able to check it out, but. Yeah, they seem like they're they have some really solid stuff now. Two thousand people that just goes to show that you know they're really really selective, and you kind of see that with some of the more like top tier special forces units. But yeah, I mean, there's not a whole lot we could probably find about units like this. So some of the stuff might be outdated as far as like their equipment or you know sort of the the stuff that they get into. But it's nice to get those examples of the operations that they do on in like modern times, especially them taking down those pirates. So it just, it's kind of like a constant reminder that these guys are there and they are a threat. So, I mean, it's, it's definitely a deterrent for people who are trying to do stuff around that area. So yeah, cool video. Thank you guys for recommending this one to me, at least this unit specifically, but definitely a cool recommendation. And I'm glad I was finally able to check them out. But it would be nice to get some more modern footage or see some more modern operations. This video was uploaded in 2018, so it's a little bit older. So if you guys have any of the more modern stuff or any modern operations that these guys got into, feel free to drop it down below so we can all check it out. But thank you for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. That is it for this one. I'll see you all in the next one.